Hey guys, how you doing? Dubs Hill here. Just want to say first things first, get this out of the way, just want to say a massive, massive, huge thank you to all of you recently that have subscribed to my YouTube channel. It really, really means a lot. I'm trying to do something good here for everybody that views my content and trying to change the conversation and just help people, you know, overcome their own obstacles, etc, etc, etc. So massive love, enough respect to each one of you out there. And on that subject, I just want to talk about something really important to everybody, and it is happiness. That's right. Very, very simple. Happiness. Ask yourself the question, as I say this, think of everybody you know in your life. How many people do you actually know that are actually 100% happy in their life? Because I don't really know that many. I know people that pretend they're happy. I know people that put on this persona when they're around people um, and try and express that they're happy. And sometimes they are relatively happy, but a lot of people aren't completely happy and content in their life. And in my opinion, as I always says, say for the haters and the keyboard warriors, I do truly believe that a lot of people's unhappiness is because of the vocational path, i.e. their job or their career that they are in. Simple as that, because it is a fact of life. We spend quite a substantial amount of time in our lives, either asleep or at fucking work, yeah? All right, so we don't get much free time or family time, time with our children, our families, our friends, so most of it, is at work so and a lot of people are at work stuck in these jobs that they don't really like they don't really see themselves having a future or a long successful career in they're just there because they have to earn money they have to earn a certain amount of money to pay their rent or their mortgage their car payments their fucking fucking Little Woods catalog, sorry, I was just trying to think of something then. And all these other direct debits and loans and credit cards and all this other bullshit that they've got to pay for every day. Thus, as a consequence, having to stay stuck, stagnant, where they are in that shitty job that they hate and their boss is a complete dickhead. The person that sits next to them on their desk is a complete numpty, all because they have this bar of this financial target they have to earn every single week or month in order to pay for X. Now, how do we solve this? A lot of people talk about this on media um, and I totally fucking agree with it. That's why I'm gonna say it now as well. And I've said it probably in my last eight videos is stop buying shit that you don't need. Simple as that, all right? I believe, again, my personal opinion is people buy all this expensive flash shitty gear as a trophy of success because they are so, so bothered and worried about what other people think of them, what other people's opinions are of them, what other people see of them, that they have to keep up with the Joneses to, to a degree in order for people to think they're something great, to think they're someone successful. As a consequence, that person ends up fucking miserable as sin because they are struggling. They're not happy because they're spending most of their life in a job they hate because they have to to pay for all this shit that they don't need. So as a consequence, so where do we end up? We can't step back to make one massive step forward for our future. So we can't afford to start our own little business, baking cakes, yeah, because we, need, we know it's gonna start off very slow, it's gonna take a year or a few years to build up before we get a client base, you know, and our products is recognized as a brand and start making enough money to live, but we can't do that because we have to earn X to pay for all these, all these trophies. Understand where I'm going with this? So as a consequence, we end up unhappy, and the problem of it is, is they'll probably be in the same position in the next 10, 15, 20 years of their life, probably in the same fucking job doing the same thing. So I implore you, if you haven't done already, live by your means in order to benefit your future. The little gifts and the trophies, if... Now there is a difference because I'm not knocking anybody that say started their own company, made a substantial amount of money, has become successful and they want to buy themselves a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. There are certain people out on the media that have made their businesses and their brands on social media and have become successful. 
and they like to buy themselves flash cars and everything else and that's cool each and every one to their own prerogative it's not my thing i wouldn't personally go down that route but again i don't disagree with using it as kind of like a, a goal objective that i want to make my business this successful so i can buy myself a lamborghini that's great because the trophy for yourself as a kind of like a gift to yourself you're saying work hard pays off but at the same time 250 grand car yeah or 220 grand to sit in my company in case my company goes tits up and i need that money but each and every one to their own so what i'm trying to say to you is is you know stop buying all this materialistic bullshit because let's be honest most of the stuff that you buy like the flash car and the rolex and the big six bedroom house even though you only need two bedrooms yeah it's all to impress other people and it's also to impress people that you don't even fucking like or people you don't even know that live down your street that you've never spoken to in your life but you want them to see you as successful and i know a few people that live near me that are actually fucking like that yeah and they were like that from when we were kids but that is because their parents brought them up that way and gave them the silver spoon job. He up their ass and when they said jump, their parents said, how high to ching, there's my checkbook. So I'm just trying to say to you, if you wanna, if you wanna change and, and you know do that, get that, make that side hustle a reality and make it a career or a business to better yourself, then stop wasting money on, on shit you don't need and invest it or save it until you've got enough money to be able to take a step back, start your own little business and make yourself a success. There's no better success in life than waking up every day and going to work and doing something that you're fucking happy about, something that you're passionate about. I mean, how, I mean, imagine, imagine having that kind of life, going to work every day was like going out for a day at fucking Alton Towers with your children. Imagine how that would feel 52 weeks of the year and that was your job. I mean, the difference is ridiculous. So I implore you and I beg you, go and fucking do it because the only person that can do it, the only person that can change, this is you. And only then will you be truly happy and you'll be happy every fucking day of your life. I promise you, all right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, if you did, hit the subscribe button and the little bell, get a notification when my videos come on. You can also hook me up on Instagram, at Dubs Hill or Facebook, Dubs Hill. You all know the drill, but thanks for listening. Hope you have a good weekend and I'll catch you all soon. Real talk, take care.